All right, so you're gonna be installing the bar gauge manifold. You're gonna need a set of gauges. Uh, these ones are R134A. How can I tell they're R134A? The blue and the color. If you get the set that has the pink, those are 410A, they're gonna be different pressures. They still would work, but we prefer to use the 134A with the lower pressure equipment. You're gonna need a refrigeration service valve wrench, reversible, ratcheting. You're gonna need a set of slip joint pliers and an adjustable wrench or a standard size would work as well. So what first thing we're going to do, first step is easy, the unit is off. The second step involves me checking to make sure that I can safely remove these caps. So I'm going to remove the stem caps to both my king valve and to my suction service valve. I do not know if there's pressure in here or not. So we're going to check to make sure that they are in the back seated position before removing the gauge port caps. So I got them both off. Take the service valve wrench. Now this one I gotta pretend I'm looking upside down. Which way is back seating? Wig time or back in time? Back in time, back seating, back in time. So I gotta make sure it, it spins, if it does spin, all the way back. And then it might not spin all the way back anymore because it's all the way in the back seated position. So I gotta make sure I pull that way and it is back seated, we're good. This one the same way. All right, so those are both good. I can safely remove my gauge port caps. If you need to use the wrench because it's too tight, go ahead, but it shouldn't need the wrench. I'm going to remove the top one. That one's missing a... This one might not have... There you go. I want to use the one with the Schrader valve in it, too. So we're going to go ahead and hook up, make sure my gauges are closed. Remove the pressure gauge hose, connect it to the king valve. For your instructions, you're going to interchange the word king valve and discharge valve. This particular refrigeration system does not have a discharge valve. It goes right from the discharge side of the compressor into the inlet of the condenser. And there's no valve there on that. So we're going to pretend that this king valve is our high pressure or discharge pressure valve. So we're going to go ahead and put that one tight, finger tight, do not need to use the wrenches. And we're going to hook up the suction service valve to the compound gauge pressure, compound gauge hose. All right, now one I'm going to leave loose a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and also make sure the rest of the hoses are tight. Gauges are off. Now I'm going to crack my discharge service valve. In this case, it's the king valve. Back off the back seat a quarter turn. So that's cracked. I've turned it 90 degrees. That's one quarter of a turn. I have pressure showing up in my gauge and I want to bleed the air, we call that what? Purging. purging. I'm going to purge the hoses because the air in the hoses I do not want to get in the system. And if this side of the system was in a vacuum and I didn't do this step, I've then let air and moisture into the system. It's got to be removed with a filter dryer and it'll show up on the moisture indicator. We don't want to have to worry about that. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to open the pressure gauge valve, open the compound gauge valve slowly so it doesn't rupture. And then one Mississippi, there might be something that comes out. A little oil in the hose, maybe a little oil on that side of the system. I don't know. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, and then finger tight. Once that's done, and you can see that it purged a little air out with that oil, I can close both the gauges. That's almost like water. All right, I can purge those with the gauges, and then we can go ahead and crack the suction service valve to read the suction pressure and then I can start the unit and we let the unit uh, uh, operate for about five minutes before recording the pressures and there we go she's ready to go you can go ahead and stop recording